It's a bit eerie and quiet. <laughs> Let's get it going. Are we blowing? Yeah, we're not too bad. Good morning, everybody. I got sound. We got video. We got a hunt. We're ready to rock. Good morning and welcome to Lock and Learn. This week, uh, I'll be hosting the stream. TK is actually on vacation. So if you're looking for a pro, well, you got to wait about four more weeks till he gets back. <laughs> I have a lot of fun doing these classic streams. It's nice to be back. The time zone's kind of worked out. Right now, we're on a little bit of an overlap. Um, we've uh, I, it's Daylight savings hasn't happened yet over in Sweden. So the stream for me, which is normally seven, which is too early, is eight this week. So uh, I will be covering them while TK's gone. Please keep an eye out. We might be bumping them an hour uh, just so I can actually do the streams. But uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Good to see you all. Welcome. So we're here in Hirschfelden. We're here in Hirschfelden. Recently, there was a big update. As many of you know, Fallow have come to the Hunter Classic. I haven't had a chance to, uh, <laughs> to take any shots at any. So we're here today. That's what we're going to do. And of course, everything is, I mean, come on. You know, this is what happens to me. I did not bring anything for the birds. Nope. We're going to ignore them. We're going to just put the blinders on. Oh, good to see you all. Helene, hello. Welcome. Wonky Harvey, how's it going, man? Percy, welcome. Taz is in the house. Surprising. Hello, sir. Rankoff. Man, good to see you all. Mr. Corn Snake. Hello, sir. Hello, I miss you guys. Uh, honestly, it's uh, we had a lot of fun doing the classic streams. Uh, time zones, they're, they're a thing. You know, that won't be a thing come summertime when I land over on the shores of Sweden. So <laughs> we have that to look forward to. Look at all these guys. I should have brought a shotgun. You gotta be kidding me. So... I don't know where to find these uh, right now. Currently, we are rocking our way up this direction. We're on the edge of the field. A uh, little birdie told me that it's pretty good around Tower 4, so we're going to head off that way. Uh, I just want to kind of get a lay of the land, see what's happening. We're going to try and give away some EMs if I can kill any fellow. We'll see how that goes. Uh, pretty good with the shooting part. Yep, that's not so bad. <laughs> Could you add muskox to call it? Well, the 189. Good to see you. Um, come on back on Tuesday. Throw it out there. We're, uh, we're covering classic today. I'm sure you understand. Same company, though, of course. You know, we uh, we do we do dabble in both. But uh, yeah, I, Discord's got a feedback channel where you can request that stuff too. But hit it up. Hit it up. All right. Well, let's see. So uh, yeah, Avery was telling me I picked his brain. I said, any tips or tricks? He said, uh, Tower 4 is pretty good. But from what I'm hearing from people, they're kind of all over the place. Um, you'll catch them with a lot of movement. I, I almost started over by my at my little happy my little happy tent over here. Uh, I, this is where I spend most of my time on when I come to Hirschfelden, just to get on those geese. They're a whole lot of fun. I'm gonna try Rankov. I'm gonna try. It is morning. Bacon sounds pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, but I'll do my best to stay on target. These things just teasing me. I don't even want to look at the birds. Don't do it, man. Um, really, Avery? Because this one said Tower 4. This this one right here. When I looked on the map, of course, it's not going to show me now. You're telling me I'm going to the wrong tower? you trolling me now? I feel like I'm being trolled. Well, this is the one that was labeled Tower Number 4. So that's where I'm heading. <laughs> Fuma, hello, welcome. R Roberto, how you doing? Welcome, my friend. Little Snoops in the house. Pheasants are a distraction. I know. I know. They max, man. I had a lot of fun. TK and I went out and we decided to go and uh, jump on some of the pheasant. Holy. I mean, that was a blast. Like, no pun intended. It, it was just shoot, just shoot, shoot, shoot. It's all we did. You know? So we'll see. Anyways, moving through the field. So let me get a little bit of a glass going. I got the morning eyes on. I got one coffee into me. Let's see if we can uh, get our eyes on anything. I imagine we'd probably hear them. We were walking, so... Uh, Probably spook them. The other Tower Four. <laughs> Uncle Jim, hello, welcome. Nice to have you here. Well, we're gonna pluck around over here, anyways, Avery. We'll see how we do. If we don't make it happen, Captain, then I'm gonna head south. I've got my, uh, I got my tent supplies. I've got my tent supplies. That was an adjustment for me with Classic. I had to remember. You know, I'm, I'm quite used to Call of the Wild. You just look at the map, hit it, where you go, you. But uh, on here, you need your tent supplies, which is good. It kind of stops you from just jumping around steady. You got to consciously think about this. Um, oh, man. No, 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 no. Like literally Radkov called it. This is what happens to me. I'm going to ignore them. 
We're gonna we're gonna ignore them. I know it's not Darren. I know with a oh god. How do I not right? I don't go. Do we do it? Do we do it just to get some EMs out? Make sure we get something out. I just it could be follow up in them hills. No, no, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. Spawn Anubis, how you doing, brother? What's happening? Oh, you're kidding, Rakov. Oh man. <laughs> Chambers, go north. We're working on it, bro. We're working on it. Cheek Flower, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Man, so good to see you all. So much of our classic career. I missed you guys, man. We got are you guys not gonna spook? I'm walking right up behind you with firearms. They didn't get the memo, apparently. I feel like, um, oh, it's freaking birds. I feel like the fields, man. I just, you know, I think to, I think to call the wild and I get a lot of my fallow through the fields in Hirschfelden. But we'll go up, we'll check it out. Even if it was given, it's a destination. That's what's important here. I have a destination. I'm good, man. I'm doing great. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, uh, I, glad, glad to be filling in. Glad to be filling in. As you've seen, TK has been covering the classic streams and I've been covering the Call of the Wild streams, uh, mainly just to do with the time zone differences. That will be different. I'm sure we'll get back to doing it all together uh, once I land on the shores of Sweden in the summer there. So uh, we've got something to look forward to. <laughs> Him and I have a lot of fun. So I'm really looking forward to co-hosting again with them. Thank you, Darren. Thank you. Yeah, I'll 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 take a knee. <laughs> but <laughs> let's just check see. This is probably those pigs. Let's just make sure. See if we're moving in the right direction. I may want to bounce to that other end, but we'll, we'll go with this for now. Yeah, it was. Savannah, how's it going? Thank you, Snoop. No, you. <laughs> Ryan Pablo, hello to Brazil, my friend. Fantastic. What's the weather like down there today? Don't tell me. You'll just make me jealous. It's terrible here. <laughs> Actually, it's not too bad here today in old Vancouver, British Columbia. It's sunny outside at the moment. Uh, we've had a lot of rain. I mean, we live in a rainforest. What do you expect, I suppose? But we have had a lot of rain lately. Uh, it's a little concerning with these levels. All right. So... I mean, we know there's going to be a clearing up there, so maybe this will work out for me. It's exciting. It's exciting. I haven't even seen a fallow in game yet. Well, I mean, I have. I've watched some of our creators, and I saw TK when he was out rolling around with it, but I personally have not been in game and seen a fallow yet, so I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. You know, getting additions like this... At this stage of the game, but pun intended, you know, Classic's been out for a while. It's still getting the love. It is, uh, oh, it's it, it's fantastic. It is very heartwarming to see. Ned, how you doing? Welcome. Uh, no, Pre Predator, this is the Hunter Classic. This was the first iteration that Expansive Worlds did. Um, it's uh, It's a very realistic hunting game very very realistic it's got a little more age on it than than what call of the wild does it's on a different engine uh but it is it's something else it's a pc exclusive but if you have a pc it's not that hard to run but when you get with how detailed this game is you know you have to plan your hunts uh, you have to be careful. You can't run. You, like Even right now, me walking like this, I'm spooking animals I'm not even seeing, but we're just going to try and get into this stand. I'll maybe take my time in a little bit here, just in case something's lurking on this side. There's two good hunting games out there, and they're both by Expansive Worlds. It's pretty fantastic. <laughs> Look for white among the trees. Fowls are very white in the underbelly. Thank you, Darren. Appreciate it. We got this, Elaine. We got this. I am. I saw your comment there. Yes, I am feeling much better. Uh, last week was a bit of a write-off for me. Uh, it was Tuesday through Friday, I had a heck of a little stomach virus going on. Family, some of the family picked it up. My daughter didn't. She was smart. She got out of Dodge. She went and stayed with a friend. She's actually babysitting our friend's daughter for a week. So uh, they're, they're on spring break right now. I'm not looking for the row, but we'll, let me just see where you are. Where you at? 
sitting up by that tower. I do have my bow with me, so we do have the options of being silent and violent. Uh, I think I brought, did I bring, did I bring a snake bite? I think I brought my, my, uh, I always mix them up because I like the snake bite and I like the Parker Python. I kind of go between the two, but I got the Parker with me. I've got my 30R with me in case we want to get, you know, a little loud and proud, make a boom boom. I love that 30R, man. It's, it's kind of like my jack of all trades. Such a good rifle in this game. Yeah, give Classic a try. Exactly. As Rankov says, it's free. Uh, it's uh, th There's competitions within the game. There, There's weekly comps. That you you want to check them out. There's a league now that has been started in here. Um, there's there's all kinds of really, really cool stuff with Classic. The missions are really neat. You can earn a lot of... There's an in-game currency. There's um, EMs and CMs. So the EMs you buy with real money, but you can earn it all in-game, which is pretty cool. That guy's a lot smaller than the, uh, the bigger boy we saw way back there. I just want to get up to the stand. Just keep making our way. I'm not seeing any white underbellies. Not yet, anyways. Hearing those geese, man, that's a tease. Oh, it's such a tease. They are so much fun. If you want to try classic for anything, and there's a lot to do in this game, but honestly, the duck hunting and the geese hunting are like no other. I, I have yet to find any comparison with how good, how well classic has nailed it. Uh, it, it's incredible. It's one of my favorite things to do. You guys have seen it. You've seen me get in and go absolutely nuts with the with the foul. Uh, we've we've had a lot of fun over at the bayou. You know, we've had a really good time with it. So we're gonna just ignore that pig. I it, yeah. I mean, it's, it's the type of stat. I'm sorry. I'm used to calling them all stats. You know, even out here, we do have. Uh, we call them. Well, I guess we call them structure because they vary. Most of them are, in, are built off of trees here in the Pacific Northwest, for the most part. Braden, don't get in trouble. <laughs> don't get in trouble. I don't want to call from your teacher, man. Two best any games are by the best company, Snoop. Thank you, my friend. I have to agree. I have to agree. I uh, One of the best things I did was uh, joining the EW team. I've met some incredible people. Uh, it's uh, the passion behind it is is unmatched and I think that you know shines through in the games um, I hope I hope at any rate that everyone sees that because I can see it firsthand man short range crawler is really good just to get them change direction towards you oh hose is, hose is giving yeah he's talking about the birds it's awesome having that the, the callback having the short range the long range um, varied callers with the geese you've got the flag uh, you know they really really nailed it they really did. There's, there's unlike no other. Okay, we're going to get in here. We're going to get a few calls going. Just see if there's anything nearby. And if there is not, well, we'll kill something and we'll move on. Could have taken that hog. It is, Rod. How you doing, Mr. McTube? Good to see you. Yeah, I, I, it's it's just it's unparalleled to, to anything else. Nothing else has even come close, in my opinion. I do have the deer rattle with me. Yeah. Yep, I came somewhat prepared. All right, let's just get a look here first. Not seeing anything, but that's not to say they're not out there. You hear the pigs? Where are they at? Just up the hill here. All right, let's get a few calls going. Let's get the sounds up, man. A little classic ASMR. Yes, sir. That's what the beard ordered. Layout blinds would be awesome. Yeah. Yeah, they really would. I'm actually surprised Classic doesn't have it. Classic has everything. They got they got bait sites. They got it all, man. It's uh it's always impressed me with the multitude of of selection. Like a kid at a candy shop in that store, man. They can't help it. It's it. it feels like walking into the Bass Pro, you know? But everything's laid out for you as you want it. You don't have to walk around. It's all right there. It's the, <laughs> shopping in 2020, right? 2022. Oh, man. Best thing to do is set up a map of some tree stands and towers. Great overview to the fields and woods. Yeah. yeah I, I'm going to have to do the same myself. Uh, I don't get out under Hirschfeld much. 
I really don't. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm out with you guys, or I was out with you guys, sort of hopping around the maps, just, you know, kind of doing a little bit of everything. Let's see how we do. Shouldn't take too long. I find most most stands and towers and, and the likes, once you get in, a few calls, they eventually make their way. So we'll chit-chat for a minute while it happens. Bullet with towers, and what are your favorite? Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I like how they actually take time to set up. You know, there's a little bit of a, a, a sense of realism there. You can't just go, oh, I want to do this. Boom, it's there. You know, it's like with the bear bait. You know, you got to load that thing and give it four hours before you can actually use it. You know? I tell you. Absolutely. Absolutely. A lot of time and care has gone in from the devs on both teams uh, to capture the, the animals movements and, and such, you know, it's uh, a lot of, a lot of research goes into that when they, when, you know, from the design team, when they create an animal, when they, you know, when they're making these maps and such. Cause without that, you know, you, you, you lose that sense. I mean, there's other hunting games. I've played them all. I, you know, I, I when they all come out, when they first came out, I even go back to some older ones just cause they're fun, but a lot of it's, um, you know, they miss those little marks. So it, it's nice to see the care that our devs have put into it. Really? 40 quid on setups for Arch? Jeez, Darren, oh, he mad. That'd be nice, Bass, Brash, Brass, Brash, Brass. Sorry, get out of my arm. Tripping on my tongue. <laughs> Tripping on my tongue, Bass. Yeah, that would be nice for sure. For sure. <laughs> what are we saying classic had uh an ar the two two three i own it actually here yeah yeah i had that long before it was even a glimmer in the eye of call of the wild i just thought it was so cool i'm like oh i'm buying this i uh, used it i think mostly on uh the fox up on the on winter rhyme You know, I'm expecting them to just walk out right in front of me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if this is the play. I don't know if this is the spot, man. We'll see. We're up off the fields a little. We might go and work this edge if we don't see anything in the next, say, give or, give or ten. Let's see what we can get. Nice to be able to use the 223 on fallow. It would, yeah. Absolutely. Sway FK, my man. What's happening, brother? Good to see you, dude. Thanks for coming to hang out. Sounds like your grandson played with Legos. Oh, man. Yeah, when my kids used to play with Legos, it, it, it didn't sound so um, PG rated only because I would step on them. Yeah, yeah, a lot. Like, I mean, a lot. Like, like, I'm pretty sure I've got one wedged in the heel of my foot still. It's quite possible. They should come with a disclaimer for adults, you know, <laughs> not warnings for kids. <laughs> come on, baby. Give me something. I can't wait to see my first fallow. Holy man. There's something about the fallow. They've always grabbed me. They've always grabbed me hunting them in Call of the Wild. I'm so pleased they're here in Classic. Um... Just before that, you know, that old sense of realism that I like these, I like this structure too. Pretty cool. You can actually walk all the way around the dang thing. Mm hmm. Man. Stepping on Lego's an experience? Yeah, Lego is paid. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we might get out of here. I see y'all staying around the rivers and uh sounds like they're going to be feeding working their way through so we're not seeing anything we're a bit off the beaten path I'm going to head down here and we're going to work this we'll, we'll work this whole edge let's just let's just do this yeah let's go wow I mean I just popped in man what are you trying to say okay which way are we heading here I think we're heading in the right direction let's get up on this ridge Get a little bit of a better view. Legoland Hotel. Man, I have not. Will you let me cross? Chase, I'm getting hung up on everything. Legos are PG-13. There they are in my household. <laughs> Kids, earmuffs. <laughs> oh, 
All right. Breaking the ridge. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Gal. No. No. No, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'll never hear the end of it from Avery if I start shooting everything else. We go out for fallow and we kill every other animal we come across and don't get a fallow. We're getting a fallow. <laughs> New with Legos. Earbuds for the kids if the parents are around. That, that Seriously, that could be a sticker on the back, man. Rhino Faller, fantastic, man. Good luck, dude. Good luck. I'm not sure if prongo collars even exist. I mean, they're antelope. There are antelope collars, right? Um, I don't know if they specifically work on, on pronghorn. I did, uh, I know when, when prongs first came out in the other game, I did spend some time trying to see if their, you know, collars were an option. And it seemed like a mixed bag. Look at the geese just sitting, just sitting in the field over there. God, stop it. Stop it, geese. <laughs> yeah, totally right. <laughs> what are you no, not at all, Avery. No, not at all. And by not at all, I mean absolutely. Yep. Yep. You've, you've trolled me already, buddy. I know what it's all about. Oh. Oh, man. And literally a pig right in front of me. Holy cow. Will you, will you please spot? It is a male. You know what? Let's just, just because we're right here, I'm not using my rifle. No, no. But I will, however. Since we're here, and we haven't shot anything yet. Put that in him. A little high. I should put him down. Here's my problem with not playing classic for so long. I tried holding my breath. Yeah, no, that's my crouch button. <laughs> it's real subtle differences with classic and call of the wild. All right, nonetheless, we'll go pick him up. It, it's working towards it's working towards where we're going. I want to get to the edge of the waterway here. We're gonna work our way up and see if that does us any better for the fallow. Get on a little fallow grind, see what we can get. Uh, I should have looked at the point of impact. Good bit of blood. Lungs heart. How do we even heart shot a wild boar? Well, you know, with the right angle, <laughs> with the right angle of the tangle, you too can make it happen. Unlike me. It always comes up and says lungs heart. And when it's on lung, I've noticed it's just like a vital thing. Look at the road just standing over there. You're tempting me, but we ain't doing it. This guy only got it because he was right in front of us. And well, we're kind of going that direction anyways. Wasn't very big though. Oh, Ned's on the clip game. Uh-oh. Gonna watch what I say. <laughs> hey, freak. Appreciate you. Is that him up there on the ground? I do believe I'm looking at him. Could be. Might not be. We'll follow it. What's that, Splater? What happened? Oh, I don't know. The Nightbot. Night, Nightbot's been acting up lately. Nightbot has been acting up. It's been giving us some gears. You're fine, though. Don't worry. It's just an automated thing. You haven't offended any of us. Oh, it was just a rock. Yeah, yeah. No, it wasn't uh, Wasn't the boar laying on the ground. It's just a rock. It's almost a little too bright with the glasses, but we'll stick them on our head anyways. Farther than I expected this guy to go. Wow. Something about, you know, any clearing you walk into. You just, I know you're all the same way. As soon as you walk into a clearing, you gotta take that look, right? There's a male over there. Little row. A robot. Where'd this guy go? Well, there's more tracks there. Don't look up. Nuh uh. Keep the blinders on. We're still moving in the right direction. Ah, we're paralleling. Go to the water, please, Boar, if you wouldn't mind. Are we still. Does he stop bleeding? 
Is this a possibility? <laughs> it's just the bot. Splain it, it's just the bot. It's Nightbot. It's, uh, I, Meg was playing with it, uh, getting a few, trying to adjust it a little, because... Man, we were live the other week, and it was just timing everybody out. We were like, no, 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 no. Fortunately, they're only five-second timeouts, so no one really notices it. <laughs> well, hopefully no one really notices. I'm not getting any more blood here. I can already hear Avery. He's already saying it. You're after the fallow, yet you're tracking a wounded boar. Yeah, I know. I know. That's going good, Mason. How you doing, brother? Tommy boy, welcome. Welcome. Good to have you here. Man, that's a long way to go with an arrow sticking out of you. Not getting more blood either, which is a little bizarre. I need to wait a minute for it to hunker down and perish. Well, boars are tanks, yeah. get up on this little ridge here and then we'll stop for a sec doc will be mad if you don't find it yeah doc and i um, we had a firm talk when i first started at ew yeah uh, yeah he's blocked me since then yeah yeah, yeah. we're not allowed to uh, communicate any further yeah all right let's see here we got ourselves a little tiny tiny row love the Feed animation legs spread. That's just fantastic. Tease. Couple teases in the field over here. See an arrow? That's not the same one. I was going to say, see an arrow sticking out of that thing? I mean, really, I just want my arrow back for the love of Pete. But we finally made it down to the water, so hopefully... We'll be getting a look on something purdy here real soon. Holy man. He's right here. Let's go ahead and grab this guy. Um, so he wasn't a very big guy, but like I can't guarantee that I'm gonna get a fallow, so Let's do our first guessing game. <laughs> well, we at least have something on the ground, right? Let's go ahead and do it. This was uh, up to a 160 on the weight. 160 on the weight. Uh, it's all I can really give you, my friends. If you've hunted a lot of boar, well, you'll have a pretty good indication of what we're looking at. Um, not a whole lot on the tusk. Not a whole lot. But start those guesses. Let's get it rolling. Let's see how we do. And we'll give away our first set of EMs here on the show today. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> as best as we can see. I mean, I'm trying, Radcom. I'm trying to look at the tusks here. They're, uh... This is probably your best, best view you're going to get right there. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Appreciate you. Huntsman, what's up, brother? Your name came up the other day. We were talking about uh, back in the day we used to play all those um, Among Us and you'd come up with us on a few of them. Someone mentioned you're like, yeah, and Huntsman used to come. That's right. <laughs> Good to see you, dude. Here comes all the guesses. Let's see how we do. They're just tusked away. Rackham, I, I, I see what you did there. Man alive. Here, can I move that just out of the screen? There we go. There we go. All right. All right. <laughs> Remember, my friends, if you do not play classic, but you want to take part in it, uh, in the brackets, put them in the brackets, in the parentheses. 
All right, that's it. End of guesses. Let's see how we did. We still got to go find a fallow, man. If I don't find a fallow, I will never hear the end of it from Avery. Okay, we still talk about the Axis fiasco. I don't want to talk about it. We're not going to go there. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ned. Um, Casual over on YouTube will be the marker for me. And let's go ahead and grab this. Good luck to you all. 541.45, 541.45. Mason, I saw that. I did, I saw that. Oh, John GC, I have no choice but to tab out here. Let me just uh, give you something to look at. Here's the map, hey. Okay, 541.45. Let's see, see a 555. Man, normally there's somebody who lands right on it. Jeez. 586 from Hosen. 581 from David W. I see a 530 from Grizzly. So um, that's probably closest. Did I miss? Let's see. Seven. Man, when they're spread apart, that's even uh, normally do it. Oh, 555. Petra Mayer had a 550. That that would actually be our closest. Where are you there, Petra? There you are, 550. But can we get a mod to confirm? I think Petra Mayer may actually have it with 550. I know, that was a tough one, hey? That was a tough one. Surprising over on YouTube with the 555. But, yeah, oh, wait a minute. We're 541, though. Yeah, I think Petra has it. That's what it looks like, unless I am mistaken. Uh, I'll let our mods confirm, but uh, Petra, looks like you may be the winner, my friend. Nicely done, sir. Let's get on to some freaking fallow, baby. Let's go. Man always rains on me every game every map all the time everywhere i go they used to call it bearding it rains so much on me they would always call it bearding it's bearding yeah mm -hmm. thanks a lot yeah not doing it no -uh. no nope. Oh, very nice. Okay, we got sun somewhere on the map. The rainbows are out. Legend of Frost, good morning, sir. How are you? Uh, it's going to be about 8 something right now. I started at 7, so it's 8 12 at the moment. Petra Meyer was, we got a confirmation. Fantastic, Ted. There we go. Yeah, if you can give Hosen your classic username, uh, Avery will make sure to get those dolled out to you. And uh, congrats, man. Spend them all in one place. Because they're not good anywhere else. You know. I know. Bad humor. <laughs> no, unfortunately, the game, this this will not make it uh, to consoles, which is unfortunate. I would love to see it come to console, but it uh, wasn't designed at the time with that in mind uh, and with the, the age of the game at this stage. Um, I, I don't think that we'll, we'll, we'll be seeing that. It's, it's not in the plans right now, my friend. Unfortunately. All right. Give me something. Oh, it's just another row. It's a row, don't you know? Teasing me, man. Cross the river. Move up the river to the lodge. Continue. Up this side. Head down here, you're saying? Here's the classic 2.0. You don't think we'll find any along the edges of the fields here? Is what you're saying to me? You know, this is my first attempt at Fallow. Um, you guys have been doing it ah, since it came out. 
<laughs> this is crazy. A Avery, what a place to put a tree, man. Jeez. Oh, cool. Is that what it means, Petra? Nice. That is very cool. I like names with a little subtle meaning people might not catch. Ozen's on it. He doesn't miss much. And we still got some rain coming in. Well, let's see here. I could bounce and go up this way if that's what you're saying, but... I wonder if I cross there. Look at those. Pretty little... So what, this is not the way, is what you're telling me? I don't want to waste everybody's time. I gotta find a bloody fallow, man. I mean, an hour in classic is not a lot. <laughs> you know, this is a game I find when I sit down, I gotta set time. Don't you call it me. Getting hard to see here, too. Hmm, that'd be interesting, Darren. Oh. A rework of Red Deer and Classic. Really, Harvey? I mean, I will say I quite like the uh, the variety on the on the racks and stuff. I've had a lot of fun with them over in Val de Bois. Um, that's been my go-to for the, for the Reds. I've never really hunted Reds here on Hirschfelden. Um, I remember the first time on this map we were doing a it was a pig comp. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. First time I met Ron. First time I actually even talked with TK. What am I seeing over there? Oh, little fox. Give me, a, come on, give me a little spot. Give me a spot, female. The old spotting scope is pretty fantastic. Well, there's a bridge coming up. I can cross here. But then now I'm not over by that lodge, which is where you're suggesting. So, I mean, I should keep looking into the fields as well as we move here. Is that calling from? Nope, too slow. She's gloomy on the map. Holy. Forest Grizzlies, how you doing, brother? I think Silver Ridge Peaks would be great to see over here in Classic. Avery? <laughs> That's a good question for us. Normally the question is the other way around. But yeah, I think, uh, you know, it's the most, uh, in my opinion, it's the most popular map. Over there in that one. Fox Spoof, yeah. Feels near water and most of the time the place to be for fallow deer. Every game it changes up. Well, I'm hoping to come across something here, so keep our eyes peeled. At the very least, we get a chance to hang out, but um, disappointing if we don't get a fellow here. Fox is still kicking around over there. Actually, I think I have a, I think I have the collar for them on me too. Peeled like an onion, yeah, no doubt, man. First of all, the rain about is totally unrealistic. Does it not rain that much over there? <laughs> I mean, that's good to hear because I feel like this will be areas I'll be hunting once I get over there, and uh, I always seem to be in the bloody rain when I'm hunting. At least here in old Canadian land, it uh, it's pretty wet. 
depending what time we head out, it's either raining or it's snowing. Snowing. So we go out for our white tail camp. We get snowed in. We deal with a lot of snow. When we go to our, our specific white tail camp, it, it depends on where you are in the province. But that time of year, you know, like mid to late November is when uh, season closes here for white tail. We often get caught up in the snow. I don't mind the snow. It's easier to track in, that's for sure. But uh, I prefer it over the rain. There's not a lot worse than when it's cold out, you get soggy wet, and you're out for the entire day. Oh, man, it just cuts right through to the bones. Piggy, piggy everywhere. It looks like a bit of a Hulk. They just have that look to them. That was that guy we saw earlier. I'm assuming that was that guy we saw earlier. Decent estimate on him. Hey, congratulations, Wish Nice. Congratulations. Fan freaking tastic, man. Put that up in the Discord. Make sure you're in the official Discord. Share. Share, share, share. Pigs, they're uh they're not too skittish. That's for sure, man. Never been to the snow, Uncle Jim. It's a different experience. Honestly, it, it, it makes finding the animals a lot easier. You know, you'll you'll see their track, and you can tell, you'll learn, actually, um, just by looking at the indent, how fresh the track is, depending on how cold it is, too. But when, you know, when it's real crisp, when it's, uh, you know, you can tell by the indent if they've just been there, if the edges have rounded a bit, it shows it's had a little bit of time, you know, um, it's kind of neat. So they're a lot easier to see the movement, signs of life, you know, proof of life, so to speak. Uh, which is really, it's a nice feature of the snow. Plus, when you spot them, they just, they stand out. Oh, absolutely love it. This guy wants to get shot, man. God, man, two kills, one stream. <laughs> I almost think I should. Keep going, keep going. We're gonna, we're gonna exude a little bit of patience. It's just hard, you know, when, when you know you could be giving away some EMs to all your friends. You just want to start shooting everything. <laughs> Oh, man. Fantastic. Busy Bees Nails, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Nice to have you with us. Yeah, once I get up to this ridge up here, I got a little bit of a view. I might just sit still and start putting calls out. I was hoping to spot some on a stock, but uh, not having any real significant, well, pff, not any luck, or not, not even a famale at this point. Oh, well. <laughs> hey, <K -80s. laughs> that would be pretty good april fools fallow running around with big palmates big moose palmates on their head yeah i could see that that's that's like something i think that uh avery would do to be honest <laughs> am i right avery oh i'm telling you Saw something popping over the horizon. Pretty sure by the shape of it, it looked like a, a big old piggy. Come on, baby, give me some love. Hey, hey, Palmer, how you doing, man? Welcome, dude. Welcome. Nice to have you here. Doe Slayer's in the house. Hello, sir. What's cracking, buddy? How you doing? Tic-tac-toe. Yeah, that would be cool on uh, Hunter Bait. It's not, it's not a bad suggestion, Corn Snake. Come on, I know you've all done it. Sitting in the stand. 
Listen to the piggies. This guy just gonna walk on by? Oh, really? You're just gonna... See, I don't want to track them, though, man! Oh, it went a little left and hit him back on the side. See, I don't want to track him. Wow, the wind really pushed that. I should have checked wind. I mean, you literally saw how much the wind grabbed a hold of that there. That was insane. It was like a freaking curveball being thrown. I mean, we were going right at it. We watched it curve. That is amazing. Attention to detail like that. They're gonna, uh, it's a... Uh, uh, yeah. Sorry, Doc. We're going to have words, apparently. Good morning, Jay Blaze. How you doing, brother? We have one more field to check out here. We're, uh, we're nice and close to the water's edge. We're reasonably close at any rate. Wow, the pigs are out in force. Look at these guys. And gals. <laughs> Not what we're looking for. The wind and the rain is bad? Yeah, that was wild. I mean, call it bad, but that, that was a good learning experience for me. That was insane. Oh, are those real or those fallows? It's females, either way. Oh, let me buy, man. Let me, holy trees. Oh. didn't see the big dopey ears when they were sideways. I was so hopeful there. As soon as I got all that spotty glasses, damn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything and anything other than what we're looking for. Caught the movement. Look at the little buggers. Man. Okay, we don't have a ton of time. You guys are staying up to that lodge? This lodge down here, yeah? This one? And then move this waterway is what you're saying? All right, Rakov, have a good one, brother. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, Deadfall, it did. That 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 thing, it went for a run, man. <laughs> I'm serious. That's sticking out the side of that thing, and it's gone for days. Right now, he's got one of his other boar buddies just gnawing on the side of it, trying to pull it out. I got a huge pig spawn going on. That's all I got happening here. It's piggies everywhere. All right, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I need to wait three more minutes. I ought to restart is what I ought to. It's not leaving us a lot of time to make this happen. Keep catching that movement from the birds over here. Well, definitely not the best run down the way I came through here. Uh, you know, good good for the pigs. Most unfortunate. I suppose... No. 
We gotta go. That was the other female as well, right? A couple females. Okay, let me do it now. Come on, man. Joy of children. Oh, I'd love to, Joe. Absolutely, brother. Absolutely. I have some nice little setups on here. We can uh, we can go have a good time, man. I might just drop one of these guys since we got to wait anyways. Is one of them a male? You look chunky. Nope. That was the one we just spotted, right? Okay. What about you? Another female. Jeez, what is that? You hear that? Man. Okay, let me go now, man. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Swear to God. Um, sorry, my friends. Rookie here. Rookie here. MSRM, what's up, brother? Good to see you, my bad. Thank you for coming to hang out, dude. Move through the forest, not the field. So Petra is tough because most of the chat's been telling me find him in the fields close to water. Um, he kind of just, what, what do you need to wait zero minutes? What do you mean I need to wait zero minutes? There's no such, what are you gonna, gonna Avery, I swear to God, if you're trolling me right now, brother. <laughs> That's hilarious. Really? So what you mean to say is I got to wait another minute. God, I don't have a whole lot of time left, man. Come on now. <laughs> This was pure classic. <laughs> oh, it's a classic, all right. I swear to God. Uh, no forest? Or do you mean no, do the forest? Get to it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> hmm. Next, it's going to tell me, you should have tried a minute ago. You're too late. You're in there, man. Oh, yes, I was. Am I sure? Oh. This is how I feel right now. <laughs> All right, let's go. Come on. Where are we going? We're going north. We're going to the freaking water. What do we got? An orchestra in the freaking box? That was kind of cool. Didn't expect that. Okay, let's go. <laughs> wow, it's turned out to be one of those days for me. <laughs> well, you know, we may not have got anything fantastic, uh, but we've had a few good laughs. <laughs> All right, let's take our time. Move down to the water's edge. And see if we can get on to anything here. Holy man. God, nice looking little river. Hey, all a guy needs is a couple floats, one with a cooler of beer in it, a few buddies to float with. Man, it feels like summertime already. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Classic leaderboards won't load. G give them a minute. I have seen that's happened to me a couple times, too, when I've gone to take a peek at him. Um, it was a while back. I think it was, it was his white tail. Flinner had got something real nice, and uh, he was up on the leaderboard. This is about a year back now, I think it was. And I was constantly watching the leaderboard. Because, you know, leaderboards in this game, it's it's a big deal. 
It's a big deal. If you're within the community and you're playing and you get something nice, I guarantee you, you all know what I'm talking about. You're on there. You're watching that. You're watching that like a hawk. Um, yeah, so uh, I was uh, I was kind of involved with it. <laughs> you know, I couldn't stop looking. And I had a lot of issues. Well, no, I shouldn't say a lot of issues. It was almost like I was lagging out. Nothing on classic. Completely on me. All right. Now go west. I am. I'm going west. <laughs> sort of. Northwest. We're working on it. We're working on it. Which camel were to call the wild? Me too, Jim. Me too. It's very much a thing here. Um, what is it if I hold this out here? Is it G? No. Uh, yeah, it's G, right? There we go. So you can see oh, I'm wearing the Sneaky Fall. This is actually the Hirschfelden set. But it shows you how effective your camo is. Pretty damn cool. I like those little features. Little stuff like that. It, it, uh, it creates that immersion, you know? Man. All right, we'll keep moving. I must be wearing the field camo, yeah. Must be. Do you let leaderboards lead your game? Oh, yeah, no, no, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. Uh, you know, I mean, sure, it can be competitive in Classic. It, it absolutely can, but... Uh, in my opinion, that's not what it's all about. It's just, it's a nice feature to have that there. You know, it really is. Gives you a different way to play, different things to watch, you know. And, uh, you know, when you do get that big boy, you're proud of it, right? You're proud of it. Of course, teach each their own. I know some folks, they're all about that leaderboard. Some could care less. Bet there's pike in that water. Oh, man. I've been craving fishing. I have. I've been craving lately. We've been talking about that a lot lately. Seems to be all the streams we're talking about it. Oh, Wells catfish. Very nice. Oh, Wells. Okay. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I am corn snake as I move along. I'm not a guy that likes to spam call. It's uh, very immersion breaking for me. I swear I feel like I'm seeing something right there in the middle of the screen. You guys see that? It's a rock. It's a freaking stump buck or a rock buck. Well, it's not even there when I look at it, but it's right there when I'm not. When I'm not zoomed in. Can we cross here? Looks like we might be able to. Oh, it's 857. I'm not willing to shut her down just yet. Sorry. Not doing it. Not doing it. Oh, you might go deep sea fishing in two weeks. Well, oh, that is amazing. For what? For what? We do a lot of springs out here. Um, and I've been up, I actually used to work at a fishing resort. Not a plug at all, but I worked for a company that, uh, maybe I shouldn't say the name, yeah, man, whatever. I worked for a company and they had a, we went up to, it used to be the Queen Charlotte Islands, now Haida Gwaii. And uh, you guests would fly in, they'd stay for four days, they'd fish, they'd fly back out. You had to come in by seaplane, it was a blast. I was up there for an entire summer and uh, 
caught a bunch of bunch of red snapper but the main thing was the halibut first halibut i caught was a 63 pound halibut and i thought it was a beast i mean i was young right i was like 16 thought it was a beast everyone's laughing at me i, I understood by the end of the day when they were pulling in 100 pounders i was like oh my god are you kidding me right now that's a lot of fish let me tell you and they're flat they're such funny looking things but springs are a lot of fun. They're a really, really good fight. We uh, we go out into the chuck here, and uh, but just off if you know Vancouver, up around like Lions Bay is a real good area for it. Excuse me, little man, screaming at me. Uh, you know, surprising, I, it seems to be the way. <laughs> yeah, right, Ned? It is, I know. Immersion's, immersion's everything for me when I hunt. When I'm in these games, when I'm just out to enjoy myself. And Classic is extremely immersion. It has a high level of immersion for me. Um, it just, it feels, it feels as close as I can get behind a screen. You know what I mean? The heck was that? Is that the trees? Oh my god, the sounds in Hirschfelden. That's the trees. That is so cool. That's it. See what I'm talking about? Now imagine this. You know, you just came home from work. You're tired. It's been a long day. You want to unwind. Jump in for a round in classic. These are the sounds that greet you. Close your eyes. The birds, the geese, the bugs. Cool, the bugs, the creaking of those trees. It amazes me, man. It really does. I'd be amazed if I saw a fallow. <laughs> Do just you knock it off over there. Unlucky. Unlucky. Right, Slate? Totally, dude. Totally, man. It's, uh... God. Yeah, they nailed it. They nailed it. It's those little touches that make all that difference, right? Keep after it. Classic case of art. Just disabling the goose sounds first, but the goose are soothing. <laughs> you know, it was very soothing. It was very soothing. <laughs> what am I in a traffic jam? Come on, man. We're going to go a little bit longer. I hope you guys are okay with it. I'm going to at least get up the edge of this river here. I got, got to find a fallow, man. It's killing me. Really, I just don't want the endless ridicule I'm about to receive from Avery every time we talk. <laughs> I, I know what's coming. Fowler in the trees. I got, yeah. <laughs> There's one time back in Dom, we had fallow everywhere. Had appropriate scented air freshener. Now we're really setting the tone, Avery. That's now, this is what we need from Classic. We need Classic merch, right? An air freshener per reserve. Hmm. <laughs> And you know, I, oh, Cord Snake, I cannot forget the the rain. The rain just, it doesn't forget me everywhere I go. Don't worry, it'll rain before we finish here again. I almost guarantee it. Nine eleven in the morning, we're halfway up the river. <laughs> Next, damn it, man! 
<laughs> okay, I think we've had just about every single species on the reserve except Fallow make an appearance. Don't I just see? Is that just shadows in the game? It was just shadows in the game. Okay. Sudden death. Something like that. What I'm concerned about is I'm making all this noise as I move through the woods, too. And I mean, yeah, I've heard how skittish these things are. I need to spend a little time hunting these fallow. And I'm just gonna post it. I gotta I'm just, I'm just gonna post it in Discord. Look what I got! Nobody will believe me. <laughs> a table fan to imitate the wind with the air freshener just in front of it. Sounds sounds legit. That's like 4D, right? You know, those 4D cinemas, the 4D movies you'd go to. Bunch of reds. Damn it, Bobby. Good morning, MD. How you doing, brother? Just the red deer calling out. We've seen you over there. We're not concerned. It's not what we're looking for. Yeah, I got the update. <laughs> I know, right? Haven't had a single one. Not a call. Not nothing. Might just have to do a video on this one. <laughs> well, we'll get up around this bend and we'll see what's happening. We're, uh, you know, cross our fingers. New map hit? Oh, you're way too soon for that, Cody. <laughs> way too soon and wrong game. <laughs> Avery, you got any hints for a new map here on Classic? Africa. Uh, <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry. Uh, big five stuck in the throat there. Love to see that in Classic. Would love to see Africa. Could you imagine? Man. Hadin the elusive mute fallow. Yes, this is the way. I told you it was going to rain before I finished. Every time. Every single time. Wait, Avery asked me if I got... If I got the update. I swear, Avery... <laughs> If you've had a hand in this, buddy. <laughs> okay, everybody gets the update except for Beard. Okay, yeah, Steam's good. We're all set. I'm starting to think you're actually onto something here because man alive! Right on, Greg. Very nice, brother. Congrats to you and the wife. That's awesome. Did I hear something? No, just me. My footsteps. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, Gundy, right? Totally, man. Totally. I'm just gonna keep going till I get one. Good question, Forrest. Good question. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, I, you know, it's something we haven't seen to date. Uh, but their mountain system here in Classic is pretty impressive. When you see what's happening in the lodges and what you can do with it, and, and just the lodges themselves. Yeah, multi mounts would be cool, though. That would be a neat feature. Oh, man. Well, yeah, I swear to God. Well, we didn't get to hand out very many EMs today, my friends. Um, I got straight up skunks on a fallow. Fallow of all things, man. You know, they're not exactly the most difficult species to hunt, but apparently for me, they are elusive today. Not a very good spawn for me. I should have at one point maybe just called a spade a spade and restarted the map, perhaps. But unfortunately, I am running out of time. I have a number of things I need to get done today. Uh, before I can go any further with my day. Lots of trees to shoot. Yeah, unfortunately, trees don't score. Yeah, yeah. I've I've tried this in the past, uh, but you, you, you can't claim them. No, no, no. I um, can't put them in your lodge. You can build a lodge with them. Something to be said about that. I feel... <laughs> Nothing but reds. Oh, man, alive. <laughs> Dead. Yeah, I should. I should. I don't have time to edit videos these days. Holy man. Call of the Lumberjack. Do I think a little bit hunting better than Call of the Wild? I don't know. That's a tough one, man. It's going to be quite different. It is going to be quite different. Um, hopefully, hopefully we, we get something on it soon. I've been waiting to see something on that one for the last year. So I'm hopeful. But uh, yeah, in a waiting pattern. Shoot trees, build a lodge, shoot the animals, fill the lodge. That's better. You nailed it. That's the way to go. I, well, Nax, yes, but I don't think my hunter man will let me claim it. It, it um, I've tried. I've shot many a treat. Yeah, they tend to get in my way. <laughs> One more look. What's that? Sounded like a call. We'll have to see, Zua, yeah. Yeah, we'll have to see. Just shot a 179.5 foul 500 meters northwest of the lodge. Very nice. Good for you, brother. One last kick of the can. Unfortunate. Feeling a little defeated, my friends. Feeling a little defeated. But what are you going to do? Another day, another fallow. That's all we can do with that. Photos, hello, man. Welcome. Welcome. I'm on computer, Avers. I'm on computer. Yeah. That'd be great, Olage. That would be great. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Some aggressive felines would be awesome. It appears that the, uh, the Red Deers have done it. 
Yep, yep. The red deers have taken over. They're an aggressive, invasive species. They have eaten all the fallows. But uh, that's it for me, unfortunately, my friends. I got to get my day moving here. Very disappointed in matters. Very disappointed. I'm sorry, it wasn't a very eventful stream, although I still had a very good time hanging out with all you folks. We had some good laughs, had some good chuckles, good good conversation, you know. And at the end of the day, that's that's why I do this. Um, although, you know, I sure would have liked to have something. Would like to have at least some fellow, at least a fellow on the ground. But just not happening. Yeah, Radkov, we're not giving up. We are not giving up. We might be down, but we're not out. That is for sure. We will definitely be picking up where we left off next week on our search for the elusive bearded fellow. They are out there. They are. <laughs> Guaranteed they're out there. Make sure to go and check them out. Uh, a lot of fun stuff happening in the game right now. Don't miss out, my friends. Make sure you are part of the Discord. Explanation Point Discord will get you in there. Uh, you get all the information and the updates first. Thank you. My name's Beard. If we haven't met before, you call me Jackson. Call me when you like. Just don't call me late for the fallow. Jeez, we see what happens when that happens. And I'll catch you guys all very, very soon. Thank you, my friends. Oh.